answer your feeling state, your mind state uh, at the time of the incident. My thoughts and feelings at the time of the incident, in fact, for that entire time period during the course of that year, were perhaps more so elevated than your average individual to the point that it's incomprehensible to someone that could not have been there themselves. Want to know what it is to be a vampire? It equates to the life, it equates to power, it equates to the very foundation of existence. It's the communion, it's the holy wafer on the tongue. And that is what blood is to a sanguinary vampire. That's what a sanguinary vampire is, a blood feeder. How did your vampiric name come about? When I was given the name, I was uncertain as to what it meant, but after much research and study, I had come to find that the Sago was in Goetic beliefs, the, the ninth crown prince of hell, and his offices were seen into the future, the past, the present, and finding things lost, so forth and so on. However, I think that that did more damage than good. people have associated me with Satanism, and I have to say that although I hold nothing against the Satanic beliefs or the people that practice them, I have personally never been involved in such activities or beliefs. Vampirism is not Satanism. They are two separate things. Can you explain to me what feeding entails? Feedings, be it between vampires or between donors, uh, usually consist of either biting blades, perhaps uh, syringes on occasion, and taking the blood from one individual to mingle it with another. It is one individual literally being trusted enough or loved enough to open that other person's flesh and seek out their most prized position, the very core of themselves, which would be, in vampiric belief, their blood. At which point, ingesting it, taking that other person to themselves, shows, I suppose, a love for the other individual too, the victim. However, sometimes sanguinary vampires, the blood feeders, many times actually, We'll go beyond that belief and look at the fact that it's the core essence of a being. It's, for them, food. And sometimes, again, that can be taken out of context, like many things can in pretty much anything in life. And how does one become a sanguinary vampire? Is there a special ritual? Uh, crossing over, also known as the embrace, is the point where someone comes from the mundane society of being a regular individual and then is accepted into a vampiric family. It's much like a regular feeding. It's taking the blood of the one who is to come into the family and drinking it. You feed the person that is to enter into the family your blood, their blood, effectively you have been to be family's blood. And at that point, the vampiric blood basically overtakes their being and they become part of the family. I embraced many individuals. Heather was among one that I allowed the embrace to take place on. Do you have any uh, thoughts now looking back on your life as to what may have nudged you in the direction of the bad side, or the darker side. I've had over a decade
heartbreaking to reflect upon my entire life. I would have to say that the allure of the vampiric living can involve a compensation in sorts of perhaps people, people's pasts, individual hurts. It is a way not so much to mend the scars as to cover them for some. I'm speaking about the things people said that happened to you were done to you when you were very small by the Black Mass, which is a dark occultic group. Even from your own grandfather is what I'm talking about. I would rather not go into that, Doctor. That's precisely my point. There are many adults, far more than most people would expect out in your society, that do prey upon young individuals and they rape them, they murder them, or in their case, sacrifice, and any other number of uncouth, callous, and preferably unmentioned things. Are you still attracted to the life of vampirism? Wow, that's a large question. Um, the vampiric way of living is dark, seductive, that drives that world, and it is a very, there is really no other word other than seductive world, because it's like your darkest fantasy, your deepest, most hidden heart's desire. That's what the world consists of, of a vampire. To know that you are to some people less than man, and to others perhaps more than man, is also a seduction. To become past the norm of existence, to push the envelope and break the boundaries. Vampirism plays its part in my life as it ever has.